I'm Jenna and I'm a research assistant in Lindy Mason's lab. And I'm Bree, I'm a, a PhD candidate with Gilda Tashton and today we're demonstrating the anaerobic workstation which is a special piece of equipment that allows us to grow bacteria in a low oxygen environment. So in this chamber we can grow bacteria that's isolated from the vaginal microbiome. Essentially there's two main projects which we use this chamber for at the Burnett. We're trying to grow different um, lactobacillus. This is a special bacteria found in the vagina and these bacteria are protective. So we're looking to create almost like a probiotic um, to protect against different conditions of the vagina. And so we also use the chamber to grow bacteria that are isolated from women in South Africa so that we can test uh, whether those bacteria are killed by our uh, vaginal metabolite, which is a potential drug, which is lactic acid. And so we can grow these bacteria and see whether they can grow in the presence of lactic acid. In the vagina where these bacteria naturally grow, it's a low oxygen environment. And so if we just tried to grow these out on the bench, they wouldn't be able to grow. So we need this chamber to remove the oxygen so that we can grow those bacteria in a special environment. Um, so here's a little insight into how we can operate this workstation. So this is how we take materials into the anaerobic chamber. So this is the airlock, so this is like a separate little sealed box. We can close this up and then we can remove the oxygen from this box so that we can take the items into the main chamber. So this is how we get into the chamber. So it has these um, sleeves that seal off the chamber from the outside. Um, but to get in, because it's quite sticky sometimes, we use a slight little bit of powder on either sleeve. Squeeze myself in. We need to remove the gas from the sleeve so that there's no oxygen going to the chamber. We do this twice and then we can um, work as normal with inside. So now that I'm um, inside the chamber, I can open the side door so that I can access the items I put inside the airlock earlier. So some I can reach easily, some I need to grab with a little tool. Away. So at the moment we're growing a few different types of bacteria, so we can grow them on the plates. So it's really important to keep this chamber very clean so there's no contamination. Because it needs to be at 37 degrees um, to mimic the conditions in the vagina, it gets very hot. So um, the person working it gets very hot. Um, and also because we need to remove the oxygen, there's actually hydrogen gas as well inside the chamber. So we need to make sure we monitor the gases very carefully to make sure there's no leaks. So the anaerobic chamber is really crucial to the work that we do. And it's the only one of its kind that we have at the Burnett. And we're hoping that the work that we do using this chamber can help lead to translational outcomes for the prevention of bacterial vaginosis and HIV transmission in women.